Hey, what's up? KT Man here for another tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about combining your knobs or faders so they can move at the same time without automating two different faders or knobs. I have an example of a pad I've created. I have Euphoric Pad being sent to channel 1 here. Classic Pad being sent to channel 2 here. You can see they both have different parameters in or different plugins in the mixer channel here. Classic pad has reverb, your pad doesn't. But they both have a free filter in there as well. A low pass filter in the classic pad here and a low pass filter in the euphoric pad. Both of these are linked together in the layer here. So when I play the layer, it plays both at the same time. And I have something I created right here. We, let's play that for a second. Now what you can do is just simply put these two into one channel and then do everything at once. But then sometimes the classic pad, you want it to sound different than the euphoric pad. So therefore you have two different channels, but then you want ease of movement in your filters here. You want these two frequencies to move at the same time, for example. Now, this is how you do it. We'll go to a blank mixer channel here. Let's create, put in P controller plugin. There it is. And I'm going to right click the euphoric pad frequency link to the controller of the P controller there. And accept and go to my classic pad filter. The frequency link to controller do the same thing. When you do this, make sure the remove conflict light is not lit up. Otherwise it's going to remove your first linked up knob. And now when I move this right here, it's going to move those two at the same time. And that makes it easier to automate instead of automating two frequency knobs. So let's do that. Let's create an automation clip. And let's hear how it sounds. And notice the frequency knobs here. you go you have it now this might seem like a little bit of work but then imagine if you're doing a song and you want the frequencies to change a lot in the song you don't need to keep going back and click you know doing two automation clips and creating different automations for each and making them sound the same this is a easy way of doing it and that's how i do it so there you go